Well, hello there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Atlas. We're back with another episode looking at another cryptocurrency. In today's episode, we are focusing on ThorChain, aka Rune. Today's date is January 17th, 2020. The time is 9.02 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Take a look on the coin market cap side here. We could see ThorChain, aka Rune, being listed at approximately nine cents or 0 0.094518 United States dollars with a 6.37% change. We'll be coming back to this in a minute, but first we have to ask the big question, what is ThorChain? Heading over to ThorChain.org, which I will be including a link to in the description down below as always. So if you wish to do more research on this, which I highly encourage you to do so, you're able to do so. According to the website, they describe this as the following. A decentralized liquidity network. ThorChain facilitates cross-chain liquidity pools with no pegged or wrapped tokens. Swap between assets across chains, stake assets to earn liquidity incentives, run a node to service the network. Swap assets. Swap between any connected asset. Pay a transparent fee for access to the liquidity. Swaps, com swaps completed immediately once confirmed on chain. Swaps are non-custodial, no third parties. Swap directly from supported wallets. Stake assets. Stake in existing pools or add new ones. Liquidity providers earn fees and block rewards. Liquidity is always on-chain and never pegged or wrapped. Only the original provider can claim back their share. Stake capital is always underwritten by the system. Bond as a node. The system churns nodes every three days, ensuring liveness and preventing capture. Nodes compete to enter with bonded capital. The oldest and most unreliable node is churned out. Nodes are anonymous with plausible deniability on all transactions. Nodes earn two-thirds of the system's income. Solving security. Bonded capital, stake capital. Incentives ensure bonded rune is always double-staked rune. Malicious nodes are slashed to protect staked capital. The liquidity and security of the system is tightly coupled. A threshold signature scheme with no trusted dealer protects assets. The system is always Byzantine fault tolerant. Solving scalability. Liquidity is sharded into realms to reduce signing committee sizes. Liquidity is delegated into smaller vaults for faster signing. Base infrastructure is tendermint, 100 plus nodes possible. Chains and assets added via economic weight. High performance Cosmos SDK replicated state machine. Solving cross-chain. ThorChain observes transactions on external networks. State is highly validated. Incorrect transactions are ignored or refunded. Logic is applied to state changes generating outgoing transactions. Transactions are signed via a chain agnostic TSS protocol. Outgoing transactions broadcast back to the external network. Heading back over to the coin market cap side here, we have a little bit of a description. ThorChain describes itself as a decentralized liquidity network that allows users to swap assets instantly at manipulation resistant market prices. Swaps are done through permissionless cross-chain liquidity pools that allows users to stake their assets to earn trading fees. Traders can monitor pool prices and earn by arbitraging back to fair market prices. Projects can reportedly stake their treasures, treasuries to give their tokens deep liquidity. Take a look at the chart here. We can see the relationship between ThorChain and green with Bitcoin and gold and also the Binance coin in red. We're gonna go ahead and remove the Binance coin Look at the relationship here dating back through July 2019, shortly after when Bitcoin had moved up to a $14,000 price. We see this remaining very still and then started growing more, pushing up around the November and the December period. All-time low, September 27, 2019 at 0.007939 United States dollars, less than one cent. And all-time high, was later the same year, December 8th, 2019, at approximately 12 cents, or 0.128299 United States dollars. Market rank as of the time of this video is number 194 on the list. ThorChain's return on investment, 195.37%. Market capitalization, over $11.7 million. Volume in the last 24 hours, over $587,000. Circulating supply, 124,191,000. 365 rune and a total supply of 500 million rune. As far as sources working with ThorChain market pairs, we have three being listed on the market as of the moment. Those include Bitmax, Binance Dex, and Bilaxi. 
That does it for this coverage on Thorchain, aka Rune. Feel free to let us know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are about this in the comments down below. Do you feel this has a promising future? Do you feel this is going to fall flat on its face? Do you feel that this is better or worse than another cryptocurrency? Do you have any price predictions? Feel free to let us know. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like and feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We cover a lot of different cryptocurrencies as well as doing a series of tutorials, how-to guides, glossary terms, and covering major news in the world of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys later.